Okay, today guys, we're gonna shoot guns that suck one way or the other. I mean, they're good guns, good manufacturers, but they suck one way or the other. We'll find out how bad they suck. First gun, Fight Light 300 Blackout. I threw a suppressor on just to make it look somewhat cooler, but this end kind of bothers me. I don't know why this is even practical, but in 300 Blackout, it's crazy. So let's go shoot it. Sorry guys, I kind of like this gun. I didn't think it would be, I thought it was going to be bad because I never shot it before, but now, actually I kind of dig it. This is the second one, the Spice Tactical, it has a Spice Tactical lower, but the upper is that I bought separate. So the Spice Tactical is a lower I had laying around. So I put this upper on it and it shoots the PS90 round, which is the 5.7, but the thing I don't like about it is loading these damn mags. But this also has a binary trigger which I've shot this gun before. It's actually kind of fun to shoot. I just don't like it because I gotta load this damn mag that holds 50 rounds and it seems like it takes forever. I love this gun, just hate the mag. But it's still 5.7 and I love shooting 5.7. Here's the third gun, it's made by Andrew Corp. I do like the gun, but what I don't like about it is so damn loud. I don't remember how long the barrel is, maybe six inches, maybe seven. Anyway, it also has a binary trigger and it's in godly just a flamethrower from hell. But the only reason I don't like it is because it's so freaking loud, which I knew better when I bought it. But I said, what the hell, that's why I bought it anyway. Damn, it's loud. Fourth gun made by Ultra Corp. Nine millimeter, single shot. I've done this in pre previous videos. It really sucks to shoot. Even the cameraman shot it, but he's kind of a wimp, so he can't handle much more than this. Yeah, that's the reason it made the list, is because it doesn't really make sense, and it's not accurate, and it sucks to shoot. And the trigger is ridiculous. Sure. The suppressor. No, it doesn't have a suppressor on it. What is that barrel thing? Yeah, that's where you put the round. Put the round at the end. That's stupid. This gun sucks. Sorry guys. Kinda hurts. Really sucks. Well, this is obvious. Smith Wesson 500 mag. Do I have to say much more why this one sucks? Oh. Sucks every time, but I'll do it for you guys anytime. Bond pulp up, nine millimeter. Lena shot this. It didn't feed at all very well for her period, I think. Didn't it not work at all for her? Yeah, it jammed like every shot. Yeah, that's what I thought. So that's why this one made the list. I've shot this once. It jammed for me at least a couple of times. So that's why I made the list. That's why this one sucked, even as a bull pup. But... Okay. The rounds are backwards, guys, because the bull pup. Kind of weird, but let's see what happens. Well, surprisingly, only one jam. Still don't like it. it. Just doesn't feel right to me in my hand at all. But if you're in a bad situation, I guess worse comes to worse. Today's video is sponsored by Crossbreed Holsters. Crossbreed Holsters makes a leather holster with a Kydex shell. 
the leather molds to your body, as you can see the bend in that, that's gonna make it a very comfortable everyday carry holster. Kydex gonna keep it locked in place. You've seen us talk about them before. This is the Super Tuck by Crossbreed. This is their OG. This is the Reckoning in a couple different models, a couple different variations we got there. We got the Terran Tactical, we'll slide that in. One thing I wanna talk about though is the Crossbreed leather gun belts. Look at how thick those are, okay? I wear them every single day. They have a really sturdy, thick, good, strong gun belt that you're gonna have every day. That's gonna help you get a clean draw. Nothing that's gonna pull your pants up. We don't want our pants pulled up when we're drawing. No. No, we don't want that. So, Crossbreed Holsters, The Collector as a coupon code gives you a discount. Go buy a belt today. At least a belt, definitely a holster. Look at that design. I mean, look at that design. Nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this, right? They also got dog collars. They have dog collars as well. Yep. Yeah, they have got one. every kind of concealed carry yep. you'd want. You, they have a uh, purse carry, bag carry, bedside carry, backpack carry, appendix, four o'clock, chest rigs. Yep. We should get a chest rig for my Desert Eagle. Yep, maybe we should. Just carry that around. Awesome. Get a little gold in, get a match on. Oh, mm, sick. Mm. Uh, Crossbreed has supported the channel since, uh, since the beginning. Yeah, a long time. So yep. they support us, go support them. The Collector coupon code crossbreedholsters.com. Take care, guys. 44 Auto Mag. Beast of a gun. Johnny didn't like this once because we shot this in the range and he didn't have ear protection Good on. Night. In the other room and it freaked him out. He had to go change his pants. I was laying on the ground outside and they just shot a gun and didn't tell me. Like, it's not nice. 44 Auto Mag. Hang cannon. See, I like shooting that one. That's not so bad. It's still just a beast. Next one is a 2011 Dueler. This is a cool gun, weighs a lot, shoots 45, but what makes it even cooler, it's double barrel. Now, weighs a ton, so there's no recoil, but if you ever run out of ammo, you can chuck it at somebody's head and knock their head off. If you're out sailing, you can put a rope on it, drop it as an anchor. You can do whatever you want with it, f it right? This is one of my wife's favorites, even though she's shot it once, but she did have to have it. That's why I bought it. Double barrel, 19. It sucks because it's pointless, but it's badass to shoot. Now, this, guys, is the Tavor. I don't know if you guys ever shot one of these before, but they're amazing guns. They're, they shoot great. It's a bullpup. Everything comes out the ass and goes out the front, which is great. But it's not great when you have a suppressor on it. Due to the fact of all that pressure, all the gases in that suppressor comes right back at you and smacks you across the face, and it sucks. But otherwise, I like the gun. Let's go shoot it. Well, cool gun. You know, I did jam a little bit, but cool gun. Love the gun. Suppressed sucks. You know, just all that gas is smacking your face. Just makes you just want to cough and hack all damn day. Last gun is the Klishnikov and 12 gauge people. Now, we all know how 12 gauge shoots. It's kind of rough to shoot, especially if you're shooting double op buck or slugs. But this is a other, we won't call it a pistol, we'll call it an other. And I mean, it's perfect for shooting off your hip. I'm not going to hold it up near my face whatsoever because it is a 12 gauge and it's going to hurt. Maybe I will suppress it. It does have a thread barrel. Suppressed other maybe? I don't know. So we'll shoot this next and see how I well I know how much painful this is going to be and we're going to find out right now. gun didn't function very well because the shells that we used was not enough balls to it but the hornady did it functioned but i mean close quarter yeah it was okay i mean it's a shotgun i mean spray and pray right guys well guys my hands well let's put it this way are not going to feel 
too good for a while. We'll be putting them in ice tonight because when you're old like me, you have arthritis. Well, you feel like you got arthritis. Right now I do anyway. Ah, Matt's old. He said he was old. Everybody guess Matt's age. Yeah. Can you guess? Him? Comment in the comment below. There's a line right here. Guess Matt's age because he's old. Hey, at least I get discounts. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go rest my hands. That hurt. I should have done that. And hit like and subscribe. Take care.